How's it going everybody? My name is Lucian. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up SCUM, a dedicated server on your own hardware. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to want to do is download the Steam CMD. So we're just going to search for Steam CMD here. And for me, it's the first link. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to click here on Windows. And then we're going to click this very top link right here. And that'll download the archive. We're going to open it up. Oh, we're going to open up the downloads folder. And we're going to right click on that and extract it. And then we don't need to show it. We're just going to hit extract. And we're going to take this and do a control X to cut it. I'm going to go into the C drive and we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it servers. Hit enter, go into that folder, and then we're going to paste the Steam CMD folder. And then we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it scum. Then what we want to do is we're going to create a batch file. And we can call it whatever we want. So we'll go to new text document. Uh, make sure you have the .txt. If you don't see the extension, what you're going to want to do is if you go to view, then go to show, then make sure you have file name extensions turned on. So once that once that's done, we're going to, want to rename this. We'll call it start server .bat. Hit enter. This will pop up asking if we want to save it. We're going to hit yes on that. And then from there, I already have a script written up for us that I'm going to copy and paste in here. And I'll include that script down in the description below. So you guys can also use it as well. All right, so we're just going to paste that in here. And then we're going to change a few things. So what I'm going to want to do is we can go ahead and minus the browser. We are going to get some paths here. So for our scum, this is where our server files are going to install. I'm just going to click up here to get the path. Control C that. And then for the steam path right here, the shiver path. I'm sorry. We're going to do the installation path. Not the equal sign. There we go. All right, so that's going to be where the game installs at. And then we need the path for the Steam CMD. So we'll go back here, go back to servers, Steam CMD. We're going to highlight that, copy it. And then we're going to paste that right here. And then for this part, we're going to basically take this right here and just replace it where it says up to your, just like that. Then we're gonna save it. And then we're gonna close this. Now, before we run this, there's a couple things we're gonna need. We're gonna need DirectX and all the redistributed files. So if you're running this on a server, um, like I am, you're not gonna have this stuff pre-installed. However, if you're running this on your home computer, you probably already have all this stuff installed and you can go ahead and Run the bat file. But if you don't, let's open up the browser again real quick. And we're going to type in DirectX. And then we're going to click this link right here to download DirectX. My language is English, so I'm going to click on download. Next thing we're going to need is the redistributed files for C, which we can get right here for uh, Tech Power Up. We're just going to click this link right here. And then we're gonna click download right here. And this will download the zip file. Click whatever uh, server or mirror you're gonna want. Then we go ahead and minus that out because uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, that website just flash banged me. All right, so let's go into our downloads folder. And then we're going to extract the runtime real quick with extract all. And we'll should go ahead and show. Let this extract real quick. All right, and then the install.bat, we're going to right click and run that as administrator. And then hit yes. 
then we're just gonna wait for all these to install real quick. All right, now that that's done, we're going to want to install the DirectX. We're gonna hit yes on this. And then we're just going to follow the prompts and we don't want to install the Bing bar. And then we're gonna wait for this to install. <clears throat> All right, well that's installing. Let's go ahead and open up the port in our firewall. So we're going to hit the search, hit, uh, hit the start bar, and type in firewall. I'm gonna click on advanced here. All right, once that's open, we're going to go to inbound rules, click new rule, and we're gonna click on port. We're gonna hit next. TCP do 7779 hit next next and then next leaving all those settings as default we'll just call it uh 7779 tcp that was eight nine nine tcp okay finish so we're gonna do that one more time for udp I don't know if it requires UDP or not, or if it requires TCP or not. It doesn't say. So we're just going to open them both up for now. And if I find out later, then I'll just leave a note in a pinned comment. We're going to call this one UDP. Again, leaving all those other settings at default. And hitting finish. And then both those ports are done. And we're done with the firewall. And we're still waiting for DirectX to finish. So we're going to go ahead and wait on that. All right, now that's uh, finished, we're going to click on finish. Close that one. We're going to go back to our server shoulder here. And we are going to, I don't know why I put this in here. We're actually going to like to put that in the, in the actual scum folder here. This is where all of our server files are going to get installed to. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and run this and this should automatically start to install scum for us in the path that we've set in, in the uh, config file there, which is to the folder we just opened up. And then we're going to wait for this to finish up. All right. And once it's done installing, the server will automatically start up. And you may or may not get this little pop up. If you do get it, just hit allow. Now, if you're getting the errors by the time the server is done downloading and starts up like DLL errors, you're going to want to go back into the video and make sure that you have everything installed that I installed in the uh, beginning of the video, like all the uh, redistributable, redistributable files along with DirectX. If we, can, if we can hit space bar on that, that'll close it out. Now, the server's running, uh, well, it's booting up, and then all of our files are right here. So, all the server settings that we're going to want are right uh, under scum, and then saved, config, Windows server. And then we have all the admin users and everything like that. So, we can, let's say, if we want to make ourselves an admin, we need to open this up in uh, like notepad or something. And then uh, you just paste like your Steam64 ID in there and then save it and then close it. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop the server real quick. I don't want that to keep running because we're going to be making some changes. Um, and then you have all your other stuff, your game, game user settings. Then we have server settings here. So if we open up this up, you can see we can change, we can change the name of the server. Uh, your description, if you want the password, the max players, all that fun stuff. So a lot of your settings that you want, message of the day, everything is all going to be in here. Change these settings to whatever you desire. Once you have all these settings set up, you can save it and then rerun the server. So we'll call it uh, Lucian Devs Server, just as an example here so I can change something save it and then we'll close it and then we'll go back to our main folder here scum 
and then every time we run the dot bat file right here it will check for updates and if it's fully up to date it'll go to start the server or if it needs an update it'll update it and then start the server so let's go ahead and start it back up now that we've made whatever changes we wanted to make and since we closed it it's going to check for updates and saw that there was no updates because we just installed it and now the server's booting back up and then we'll wait for the uh, server to boot up you will see red and yellow um error messages flying through here uh nothing to be super duper worried about um when i tested this out before i made before i'm you know, before i'm recording the video uh everything was still working fine uh, so no uh no major issues or anything like that we're gonna wait a minute for this to uh go to run up everything so while this is starting up one thing i do want to point out um if you're running this locally in order to connect to it the easiest way is just direct connect to your server um so if we go to the start menu and type in cmd real quick And then if we type in IP config, since I use IPv IPv4 addressing, this is what uh, my local IP address is. So this is what I'm gonna wanna use to connect to the server. Uh, however, if you're, let's say you're renting a Windows server, like a VPS or something, uh, you'd use the public IP address. So you wouldn't be using the local, you'd be using the public, but if you're hosting it on your own, on your own network, you know, let's say you're hosting it on a on a extra computer that you have just sitting around somewhere um, you're gonna want to use the local IP address which is which which you can find just by typing in IP config so remember that IP address because we're gonna be using that to actually connect to the server all right so once you see this message right here uh, your server is should be uh, up and running so we're gonna go ahead and launch the game and connect to the server all right, now that the game is open, we're going to click on multiplayer. And right here on connect, you're going to type in your IP address. And then we're going to hit connect. A little message will pop up. We're just going to hit I understand. And then we're going to wait a minute while it connects us to the server. And just like that, we're connected to the server and we're able to create our character. Adjust whatever settings you want to adjust and log in and that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope this was able to help you uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next one